In this video, I'll be showing you how to use, make a decision matrix and what it's used for. So a decision matrix is a professional tool that is used in industry to help choose a single option out of a, several good choices. So in this case, we might be talking about our mousetrap cars. So this is gonna be car name, number, Naming your cars makes this way easier. So I'm going to do um, three wheel design, um, long four wheel, and short four wheel. These are just colloquial names that we can use to help us keep track of which car we're talking about. Uh, these would be one of the cars you've drawn. So uh, some use of helpful things with uh, Google Sheets. One of the things that you can do if you double click on this border between the borders, if you double click on it, it will auto size it to fit everything in. I'm also gonna do some formatting. I'm gonna highlight this whole row. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna center it because make pretty. And I'm going to make it slightly bigger, just so it's easier to see. Again, I'm going to resize this side, that piece. So now I need to come up with some categories. I'm also going to take this and put a we'll some formatting after. So maybe the first thing I want is um, I have to use stuff I can I can't say fastest because that wouldn't be something I can evaluate ahead of time. But I could do something like um, big wheels. And maybe the other thing would be light, based on my guess, based on the size, et cetera. Um, easy to build. Maybe another feature that I want is looks neat. So I want you to come up with six categories, but I'm gonna just do four for this demo. Um, and finally, we do total. And we're going to add some lines to make this easier to read. So I'm gonna take and add a border to the bottom of these cells, and I'm going to add a border to the right-hand side of the cells. So maybe the three row design has a really big, so I'm now going to pick a ranking system. I'm going to say lowest score best. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these a rank of between one and three, one being the best choice, two being the second best choice, and three being there. So like, gold, silver, bronze. So three rows on has a really big wheel. These two kind of the same size wheels, so I'm just gonna give them both a rank of three. So they're tied. Light, the short three wheel looks best, and maybe this, the three wheels a little better, and the four long four wheels looks like that. But the easy to build, our four wheels on is gonna be easy to build. Three wheels on is gonna be easy to build. In the short four wheel, it's really compact, it's gonna be hard to get there. I like how the three wheel design looks, I think the long, the short one looks better, and that one's there. You have to agree on how you're ranking these, and this is contrived. You get to pick the categories, and you get to pick the valuing. But when you're designing, when you're picking a thing, the whole point of this document is to justify why you picked the one you picked. All right, I'm going to put another border on this side, the left-hand side of this. And now we're going to make uh, Google Sheets do the math for us, because we don't want to do math ourselves. So to do an equation in Google Sheets, I'm going to hit the equals key, and then it's going to suggest a option. In case, in this case, sum of B2 to E2 is exactly one. Sum is add all those numbers up. So I'm going to enter, and that got a score of six. Now, if I want to take and do this, I could type this three times, but I'm lazy. If I highlight this cell and click on the bottom left-hand corner, I can drag this down, and it will then automatically calculate the totals for the other two cars. And it looks like the four wheel cars are tied, but the three wheel design is the best. Now, maybe I'll go back and say, actually the long four wheel design has slightly bigger things. Now, so, but either way, the three wheel design definitely has the best score. He's the one I probably should build. So the goal for your decision matrix, you wanna take all your cars, you want to create at least six categories for your cars. 
Um, you want to rank them either high score or low score. You can use a 10 point scale, you can use a five point scale, you can use highest score wins, lowest score wins. But you need to make sure lower scores are better. Lower scores are best. You need to make sure it's clear what way you're ranking things. But this will help you decide. Now, it's very easy to make a decision matrix. Show the one that you want to make. But this also proves why that's the one you should make. I'm going to share this document, and I'll put this into the classroom with the video. And uh, you should now follow and do your decision matrix.